Hi, I'm Tim Murphy. I'm a low temperature physicist at the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. And what you are going to look through today is the Millikelvin facility. And as you walk in the double doors, the first thing you see is a blue doer hanging uh, in a silver aluminum tripod. This doer contains a superinducting magnet that is in a bath of liquid helium that is around 4.2 Kelvin. So above the uh, doer, you see a red display which says magnetic field in Tesla. Uh, a Tesla is a unit of magnetic field strength. The maximum field strength on that magnet is 18 Tesla. On the floor, you'll see a green and white line around the magnet that indicates the 10 Gauss line for the fringe field produced by the magnet, meaning you want to keep anything that is ferromagnetic outside of those lines so it doesn't get pulled into the magnet. So cell phones are obviously magnetic. Uh, older pacemakers are very easily affected by magnetic field and credit cards can get wiped at about 1500 Gauss. But it's very easy to get to that point if you're walking near one of these magnets and you get too close. There are two other magnets in the facility. Each one of those magnets has a maximum field strength of 20 Tesla. Located in the bore of these magnets are dilution refrigerators and helium-3 refrigerators, which allow our experimenters to get down to temperatures even lower than 4.2 Kelvin. A couple of them get all the way down to 20 thousandths of a degree above absolute zero or 20 millikelvin. What is absolute zero? Absolute zero is the lack of all vibrational motion of an atom, meaning that it is truly in its ground state, its lowest energy state that it can attain. So at, at room temperature, or 300 Kelvin, there's a lot of thermal motion in atoms and molecules. And a lot of the quantum mechanical effects that are predicted are not observable because the atoms are, are simply vibrating too fast. What do you have to do to get things so cold? By moving to very low or ultra low temperatures and essentially slowing down the atoms and molecules, we can observe these quantum mechanical effects and how they're affected by high magnetic fields, how they change with temperature at low temperatures, um, and how they change with things like pressure. Uh, if we uh, illuminate them with ultraviolet or infrared light, things of that nature. What is that stuff covering all the windows? One of the things that is important to maintaining low temperatures is a lack of RF interference, electrical noise, and vibration. To reduce the amount of radiation inside the building, copper screen has been put over the windows to complete the metal walls which cover everything else. So when this building was originally constructed, it's on a separate concrete pad from the rest of the uh, magnet lab facility. That reduces any vibration produced either by heavy machinery out in the physical plant or the machine shop. So what we wanted to do was to get, for us, what is a moderately high field facility, but be able to get as low a temperature as possible uh, for the users to do their research.